Good morning, and welcome back to Miniature Monday on Gaming with ADHD. Today we are taking a look at the Clan Striker Star for Battletech from Catalyst Game Labs. Now, if you've watched any of my previous unboxing videos, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the technical readout series of supplements. But to keep it a bit shorter in this video, uh, and to keep from repeating myself, uh, you know, go back and watch, and I'll give a bit more of a description as to why I like that series. Um, but the point of this video is to compare the art of the technical readouts, both in the past and current art that we have, and compare it to the miniatures produced as part of the Clan Invasion Kickstarter. So, before we get started, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. I have more of these figures to review, and I also have some ideas on other Battletech reviews that I want to do once the unboxings are done. So, if you do like what you see here, I would absolutely appreciate a like on the video, and don't forget to comment down below. Let me know, what are your favorite mechs? Uh, did you like this series? Um, you know, how do you think they hold up compared to the art from the past and today? So... With that being said, let's go ahead and start taking a look at these. So we've got a clan star, meaning we get five mechs out of the box. Now these are almost all from the 3055 technical readout was when they originally were released. And so we've got the 55 ton Vapor Eagle, the 50 ton uh, Conjurer, the 35 ton horned owl the 30 ton incubus and the 20 ton piranha now uh yeah as you can see we get our five figures we'll get some close-ups of these here in just a minute but already obviously a pretty good pretty good selection of some light and medium weight mechs uh, we also get our packet of cards. We get two cards for each mech. Let me set those to the side. All right, so we have the Alpha Strike cards. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So the Alpha Strike cards are for the, uh, we'll call it Rules Light version of Battletech. Uh, we get two versions of each mech. So we've got our Vapor Eagle, the Conjurer, the Horned Owl, the Incubus, and the Piranha. And then we also get a pilot card for each mech, where we get the gunnery and the piloting skill for the pilot, uh, and then basically a bio on them. Their rank, clan, uh, unit, uh, which mech it's for, some background, and then any special abilities that the pilot brings to the mech. And again, we've got our conjurer. Yeah, these are two-sided, so you do get two different versions of each mech. Vapor Eagle. Incubus, Piranha, and Horned Owl. All right, so that gets us the cards. So let me switch over the camera and we're gonna start taking a look at the art. So, first up, we have the 55-ton Vapor Eagle. Now, this first made its first appearance in Tech Readout 3055. So, this was the first Tech Readout released after the initial 3050 Clan Invasion Tech Readout. Uh, this art was actually done by an outside contractor who uh, I had looked up and now I forget. Give me one second. It is an unseen from Victor Musical Industries. That's right. So um, basically Victor Musical Industries was 
an art company out of Japan who was responsible for converting Mech Warrior over to Japan, but since they didn't have license to those original mech designs, they came up with their own designs, but they also did some additional art. Uh, due to uh, concerns from Catalyst about uh, potential license issues, they you know basically said all of their stuff was unseen, even though they technically didn't have to. But regardless, this is our first appearance of the Goshawk or Vapor Eagle from Tech Readout 3055. And then... Oh. All right. And then we get this one from 3055 Upgrade. So a newer piece of art. Uh, still pretty similar. You've got the right arm cannon uh, with the SRM pack on the left arm. Although this one is a little bit better design, I think, than this one that I don't understand what exactly they're doing uh, along the arm there. And then we get this one from Ill Clan. So this is our current version. Uh, again, very happy with the art, with the way that they've been taking it. Uh, you know, much more, we'll call them realistic designs. And, uh, you know, really like what they did with this one here. Uh, it does seem a little bit busy, um, especially with the, the missiles up on the shoulders, plus then a variety pack of lasers across the chest. Um, on the arm and again the laser cannon on the arm but overall not a bad design kind of like that one and I'll let him finish turning around and the next one we get will be the hellhound All right, so coming in at a little bit lighter at 50 tons, we've got the Hellhound mech. Now again, this was a 3055 mech uh, and is one of the Victor Musical Industries Unseen. So uh, definitely kind of has that style from, from the tech readout. A uh, bit more of a simplified design. Uh, but this one, when they went to 35, 3055 upgrade, I really don't know what they were doing with this uh, with this design. I don't I don't like it. I think it looks uh, a little bit awkward, and it it also really completely redesigns the mech as opposed to trying to keep the style of art. So uh, that one was a little disappointing to see, but. Then we get our, you know, Ill Clan uh, upgrade, and I think they did a lot better at, you know, maintaining the design, even if upgrading it, making it so you can see the armor plates a bit better. Um, you know, I think the miniature uh, captures the pose, looks, you know, really good in comparison, um, and you know, I'm. I'm actually a little excited to get this one, uh, this one on the paint. It's got a, it's got a good look to it, uh, a nice, you know, beefy BattleTech feel, you know, going on there. All right, so next we're gonna move to the 35-ton horned owl. And if you can hear it, I apologize for my chicken in the background. All right, so this is the Horned Owl or Peregrine. Again, coming from 3055 and again, one of the unseen mechs. Uh, this one uh, sort of has, uh, it really does kind of have that feel of the old 80s mechs. It's, uh, it's a lot more rounded. Uh, when I saw this one, it very much reminded me of either a Zaku from uh, Mobile Suit Gundam or a Bioroid from, well, in my case, it would be from the, uh, the Masters series of Robotech or I 
cannot remember the name of the Japanese series, but it very much has that kind of feel to it. So kind of a simple design, uh, not too bad, but we get this one in 3055 upgrade. So trying to go for a little bit of a redesign, uh, didn't stray too far from the original design, but definitely has a bit of a different look to it. Uh, but then we go to this one for uh, for the Ill Clan. Now I think this one definitely gets back to the uh, the Zaku style, but I think it uh, I think it's changed it enough to give it that that battle tech feel. Uh, again, the heavy armor plates, the the look of um, you know even though it's a lighter mech. You know, it's got the mobility, uh, you know, it's, you know, nothing really to complain about here. Um, I do think that they've translated the miniature really well. Uh, you can see the jump jets there in, in its lower legs, uh, but it's also got a good dynamic pose. Looks like it's moving, uh, you know, ready to get involved uh, and get into the fight. Um, I think they, they converted it. Uh, to the art, or, or the art to the miniature really well on this one. Alright, next we've got the Vixen or Incubus, and that's this one here. Alright, get that one more center. All right, so this is the last one out of 3055 and the last one of the Victor Musical Industries from this particular set. And, uh, you know, definitely kind of has that uh, that Val Valkyrie or Battleoid uh, or Batroid or however you want to say it. But it looks very much like it's a redesign of either the Stinger, the Valkyrie, or the... Um, the Phoenix Hawk. Wow, can't believe I forgot that one for a second. Uh, it definitely reinvokes that feel, um, even if you know it's definitely changed. I mean, the you can see here the gun looks very similar. The legs, you know, very much look similar. Uh, it looks like we've got that you know cockpit across here on the lower torso, but. Uh, obviously we got a change going to 3055 upgrade. Uh, not a bad design. Um, not, not great, but not, not bad design either. Um, uh, and then finally into our ill clan version. Now this one, um, you know, again, not going to be complaining about the ill clan art. And I think this is... <coughs> uh, this is a very good redesign, but still keeping to its original source. Uh, I think the the art and the miniature uh, both just you know look like a good mech, um, you know, evoking those classic feels, but modern styling. All right. Now the last one is the Piranha. And the Piranha is a 20-ton mech. Sorry, I've got teenagers making noise all of a sudden. All right, so the Piranha, uh, this one... I always thought this one had a, a weird bit of art. Now, it's also an interesting just design choice because we've got 12 machine guns. Uh, reading the story on it, basically it is a, an anti inner sphere, you know, non battle armored infantry mech. Uh, it does have, uh, you know, lasers in the arm and another laser in the chest. Um, it is only a 20 ton mech, making its first appearance here in the Invading Clan source book. Basically, this was, uh, they did the Clan Wolf source book, the Clan Jade Falcon source book. And then just one single source book for the remainder of the clans of the era that were introduced as uh, the actual invaders. And so this is the first piece of art. Not bad. Um, you know, definitely looks like the art of the time. Actually, I would say this is probably one of the better pieces of art from the time. 
And then when we go to the 30, uh, 3058 upgrade, where we get this version. Uh, now all of them, you know, it, it always kind of makes me laugh because it always, to me, looks like, it, like, like it's a fish, like it's a piranha. Uh, but because of its pose, it looks like it's always looking up to the sky, even though we've got the cockpit right here in between the teeth. Uh, this one, I think they they show off the fact that they're, those machine guns are there uh, a little bit better, where these the the original looks like they could be lasers. Uh, but I think uh, I think the the art the art kept up very well uh, and and was a good representation. And then we get the Ill Clan version, and I actually really, really like this piece of art. And I think the the mech is uh, it's close enough. Uh, problem is just some of the little details uh, on the machine guns. Uh, you know, you're losing. You know, they're they're shown as rotary machine guns. It's how they're described, uh, but at the scale. It's really hard to kind of show off the that detail, but I think they do okay with it. Uh, overall, it's uh, it's a good design. It is only a 20 ton mech, so it's supposed to be small. Um, basically, it you know, the way they write the story is that it has that it's very fast and uh, operates in groups, and so even though it's just machine guns, it can still tear through a mech by getting into its rear arc. So something to think about. So overall. I think this was a good set of figures. The designs are the designs are clean. The designs are reasonable. Um, they're not the big fancy you know Omnimax, but they are still a good selection of figures to add to your collection. I, I will be honest. Uh, it is BattleTech, so I would add pretty much any of the figures to my collection. But overall. I'm pretty happy with this with this set uh, and excited to get it to the table. So with that said, what did you think? Which one is your favorite? Which one did you actually think not you know, held up to the art? But regardless, I do appreciate your time. Uh, if you are interested, I do have a link to Drive Through RPG down below. Uh, they are a great place to get your PDFs. It's where I pick up all of my Battletech PDFs. Uh, it is an affiliate link, so I do get a little bit of a kickback if you choose to use it. Uh, but you're under no obligation at all. Um, I just appreciate your time, and I hope you got something out of this. And other than that, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.